something. Your buddy Rokoff is aboard the key. Told me everything that happened. Yeah, he won't shut up about you. Keeps going on and on. <laughs> now I remember why we kicked his ass out the fleet. Yeah, that be a first. All right, neighbor, you've made your point. Well, since you're vouching for Rokoff, I guess we can give him another chance. All right. Now that is out of the way, we can move on to the matter at hand. Crix's legacy. Speaking of which, let me see that data you copied from the Galbank archives. Ah, so the Galbank transport went down over Bannock 4. Bannock. Why does that sound familiar? Neva? Yeah, yeah, keep your panties on. I'm looking it up. And... I got it. Bannock 4. Let's see... Damn it. Bannock 4 is an EM-class gas giant. We can't even get a ship near the thing without frying every circuit aboard. Don't know that one, huh? Well, pick up your pencil. There's gonna be a test on this later. E.M. class means the planet is given off a ridiculously high amount of electromagnetic radiation. We're talking off the charts here. Fly your ship anywhere near one of these death traps and you'll blow every single circuit on your ship. You'd be dead in space. Get it? Yeah, Rook. Just like every other time we've gone on this worthless treasure hunt. Both of you shut up and think for a second. I'm sure Greeks hit the same roadblock. All we need to do is figure out how he got around it. This sounds like a goddamn waste of time to me. No, no, this all makes sense. The data says the transport went down over Bannock 4, carrying currency during the Narian War. There were ships fighting across the entire galaxy back then. It's not that hard to believe this one got lost that far out from home. That's the spirit, Rook. That is the essence of the Crimson Fleet that has been slipping away lately. Neva, the Galbank data says the transport had a CBR-27 transponder. Can we track that kind of thing? pinpoint its exact location? That transponder is military grade. We're talking ultra bit encryption, constantly reshuffling frequencies. We don't have shit like that laying around. But before you get that pissy look on your face, I heard that the UC has been working on a ship signal decryption system called the comm spike. We grabbed that little beauty and we'll be able to track anything you want. All right, here is the plan, so shut up and listen. Rook, I want you and Neva to put your heads together and get us that comm spike. I don't care if it's mounted at the top of mast. I want it. In the meantime, I'm going to find out more about this EM class gas giant problem. And I think I know just who to ask. 
Give me a little time to crunch the numbers on the comm spike with Jazz, and I'll point us in the right direction. Best we can. What are you, five? All right, that is enough. We are in arm's reach of Crix's legacy, and I don't have time to deal with this kind of bullshit. Now, both of you, get the hell out of here and get to work. All right, let's get this over with. Follow me. Iberian Crest, I'd run my own city, like Bayou. Except in my town, you could do Aurora anywhere. Never do a job unprepared. You need supplies, you hit up the depot. Yeah? All right. Let's get right to it. Did you get the Earth Savior Award, or am I gonna be very disappointed? Well, well, look at that. You followed my directions, and now you're gonna end up with some credits in your pocket. Of course, it would've been more money if you hadn't blabbed about the damn thing to roll call, and that's on you. Anyway, here's your cash. Keep this up, and I might even start respecting you. All right, fleet. We've all got work to do, so let's get to it. You've got stuff to smuggle. Got the stuff to hide it. Anything ship related, you're at the right place. Serious enough that you don't have a chance in hell? Neva's got a fire in her, the kind you only see in an engine pushed to its limit. She doesn't half-ass a damn thing, and I love her for it. I don't mind helping, but it'll cost you. All right, let's see what you need.
mixed feelings about my last job. On the one hand, lost a friend. But on the other hand, I got their credits. I'll probably feel better once I spend them. Dead shark after you cook him with an energy blast. Nice work on the siren. So I heard there was a bit of excitement on the siren of the stars. Your handiwork, I assume? Yes, and I heard there were no casualties. Excellent work. Except for the ecliptic hit squad that you took down at the archives. You're taking care of that mess, by the way. Speaking of which... I assume you copied the information from the Galbank's computers. Let me see what you got. So the legacy went down at Bannock 4. Bannock 4. Hmm. Why does that sound familiar, Doft? Bannock 4 is an EM-class gas giant, sir. There isn't a ship in the fleet that could safely get near that type of world. It sounds like you admire that lunatic. I think his gospel's gone straight to your head. Maybe we made a mistake choosing you for this assignment. That's enough, Lieutenant. Even if Delgado has an immediate solution to the EM problem, there's still the matter of tracing the legacy's transponder signal. 
They have information about the gum spike? <sighs> Damn it. I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that device, sir. No, you shouldn't be familiar with it. It's a highly classified project. It's an advanced signal decryption and tracking device that the UC Navy's been working on for years. How the hell did the Crimson Fleet find out about that? There must be an information leak somewhere, sir. It's the only thing that makes sense. I'll see what I can find out. Fine. This is what we're going to do. You keep playing along and go after the comm spike. Lieutenant Toft and I will see what we can find out about Bannock 4. I don't see the point. The Crimson Fleet apparently has a pipeline of information flowing from somewhere within the UC military. Any attempt to move the comm spike would be a waste of time. We need to play this close to the vest. My superiors are stubborn. They aren't going to authorize an attack on the key based on my flights of fancy, I've been told. We need more evidence that all the Crimson Fleet's plans will result in them actually getting their hands on this fabled cache of credits. Perfect. Just stick with the plan and we'll see who gets to Krix's legacy first. Early reports say your mission on the Siren was a success. I'm sure the commander is pleased. This mission is going to require discretion on a number of fronts. Anything new to report? I know as much as you do. I wasn't briefed on this particular device. But if the fleet wants to trace the Legacy's transponder signal, they'll need something beyond the decryption tech we have currently. If such a device exists, it's likely being developed by the UC. That information is classified, so even what I do know, I can't divulge. Now, I realize as part of this mission, you'll probably end up finding out anyway, but that's besides the point. For the sake of your cover, it's best you work with whatever information the fleet gives you. Excellent. Let me have it, and I'll upload it to our database. It's amazing that all this romantic nonsense about Crix's legacy really just amounts to a rumor Jasper Crix picked up in jail. It just goes to show you how a tiny rumor can snowball into a full-blown fairy tale. Have any more? I'll be damned. So some of the UC guards at the lock helped touch off the riots. Everyone thought he was some kind of legendary criminal mastermind, but... Even the great Jasper Crix needed a helping hand to get out of prison. Find anything else? Are you kidding me? Dombrowski was already making a six-figure salary, and yet he couldn't resist starting an embezzlement scheme. It makes me sick. Ah, oh, it's gonna be an absolute pleasure to throw his butt in prison. Any other fragments? We were aware that Miss LaRue was involved with Fergus Wickham. When her body was recovered, Sis Def assumed he was the culprit. Sounds like we had it wrong. Should have pinned the murder on this Clay Dietrich perp. Well, we'll have to clear that up. Nice find. Anything else? All right. Keep up the good work. You're not gonna let this go, are you? Why do you care so much about my past? You're right, I did. I suppose I'm hesitating because I'm not sure you'll like what I have to say. 
Would it shock you to learn that I spent some time in prison? I suppose that makes me a hypocrite. Oh, does it now? Was I giving off some kind of ex-con sort of vibe? Well, give me a chance to explain. I grew up in the well in New Atlantis. Parents made barely enough money to keep the lights on in our apartment. After I dropped out of school, they begged for me to look for work. But I realized it was a lot easier to simply take whatever I wanted instead. A year after that, I'm a career criminal with UC security breathing down my neck and my parents kicking me out of the house. Hell no. I made enough money to buy my own apartment. Filled it with some decent stuff, too. I'd even send pictures of the place to my folks to rub it in. I was a real asshole. Um, well... I wasn't a nice person. That's just it, though. I was having the time of my life. Earning way more than I needed to simply get by and loving every minute of it. Back then, if you would have told me one day I'd be wearing this uniform, I'd have said you were out of your mind. Thanks. I'm quite proud of where I've ended up. Let's just say the years after my time in the well were filled with highs and lows. Look, the point is that I felt you deserved to know a bit about my past, to know where my anger towards the fleet comes from. You're welcome. Well, I think you've had enough for now. You get the point. Let's get back to it before Keyboy writes us a citation for loitering. We'll be here if you need us. This mission will be tricky. The comm spike will be heavily guarded. But I trust you can do it without violence. You have your orders. I trust you to follow them. Very concerned. Which is why when this is over, I'm going to ask Mass for forgiveness, not permission. So to help with that, I ask that you show additional care. Any crimes against UC personnel will bring unwanted attention to both you and the operation. It will be far easier to explain to Mast why the Crimson Fleet gained possession of classified material, if the Crimson Fleet is no more. Commanders are given briefings on classified projects, as they may be relevant to our current operations. On rare occasions, we may ask for a project to be pushed through or given more resources. In fact, we recently put in a request to upgrade our shields, which we hope will pay dividends in the near future. Dismissed. <clears throat> I saw one of the Ensigns get an Alpha Centauri from Officer Petrosian the other day. The man takes his job very seriously. Wherever the Crimson Fleet go, we'll fall.
So there I am. You see security on my tail and my grab drive to choke. If you need credits, hit up the mission boards in the corner. All right, Jazz. What do you got? According to the latest, the comm spike is being developed at UC Star Station SY920. Location undisclosed. Fantastic. So how do we disclose it? We could lean on your smuggling contact. Call in that favor. You know who I mean. Our friend on Jim's. Nice one, Jazz. I'll make the arrangements. All right, Rook. Next stop, New Atlantis. Your connection is Juan Dayu. She's got most of the premium UC smuggling routes locked down tight. If you don't piss her off, she should be able to sneak you past SY920's security. Just remember to count your fingers after you shake hands with her. Definitely. We're talking cargo depots, star yards, research stations, and like an SY920's case, military outposts. I've never seen someone new to the game have so many contacts. It's the reason we let her join up in the first place. I don't know how she accomplished that. We've been trying to crack some of those places for years. You're in the fleet. You should always expect trouble. As far as Juan goes, even though she's one of our newer contacts, you shouldn't have any problems dealing with her. I sure hope so. Cause she might be our only crack at finding a decent decryption device. Once Juan gets you past the guard dogs, it's gonna be on you to locate the comm spike. According to the data we have, it's in the prototype phase, meaning there should only be a single device aboard the station. Basically, you break it, you bought it. We paid good money for the information, so I'm sure it works. And if it doesn't, a certain source at Mast is gonna have to deal with a very pissed off Neva, and that would be the end of that. You just bring the tech here, I'll do the rest. Oh, and one more thing. SY920 is a UC military installation. That means it's guarded by heavily armed troops. And we both know those idiots don't mess around. If you intend to turn the place into a shooting gallery, you might want to be sure you're hauling an arsenal, because you're gonna need it. She's got the clout to get you in the front door. They're gonna think you're part of a regular supply delivery. Beyond that, you and Juan are gonna have to put your heads together and come up with a plan. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. Okay, so I'm gonna arrange a meeting with Juan at Kay's place in the well. In the meantime, I'll make sure Jazz comes up with a solution to the electromagnetic atmosphere problem at Bannock 4. Oh, okay. You'll make sure. More like get drunk while Jazz does all the hard work. Typical. Privileges of rank, my darling. We'll discuss it a little later. And you, get the hell out of here. And don't come back without that comm spike in your cargo bay. I'm gonna leave that up to you, Rook. If you get into deep trouble and you think bringing her into the fold is gonna make the difference, tell her whatever you want. At some point, Delgado's gonna be promising everyone their cut of Crix's legacy. If we want him to stick with the fleet, it's inevitable. But until the money's within reach, the less people that know, the better. The Crimson Fleet made contact with her about a year ago. We were searching for a smuggling connection in UC space, 
and her name kept popping up repeatedly, so I decided to put her to the test. Not only did she pass, but the results were off the charts. Made us both a ton of credits. That was good enough for me. Beyond that, I don't know much about her. But hey, as long as she keeps my gal bank account humming, she can keep all the secrets she wants. We'll talk later. Ship services? You need it, I've got it. Assuming the technology works? It's a skeleton key for signal encryption. If what they say is true, ratchet encryption, signal protocol, frequency shuffling, even quantum state keys can be hacked. Now, I doubt it does all that, but it should be enough to crack the CBR-27 transponder that Galbank installed on the legacy. You mean way back then? Before the tech was available to create something like the comm spike? That's a good question. I suppose he might have been able to acquire the actual transponder cipher from someone within Galbank. Unfortunately for us, I'd bet a bottle of Bog's finest that those records are buried somewhere out of our reach. See you around.
government and has been sentenced to prison. Get your neighbor's new recruit. Careful, the walls have ears. That's why 920 is one of my regular stops, so I already have the necessary approvals. Neva says you're after a piece of UC tech. So to get it, we're going to need to get you on board. I can do that, but I have conditions. If I can be candid, for this job to work, we'll have to do this my way. We take my ship, and you're a member of my crew. But make no mistake, once you board, the risk is entirely yours. This route is highly lucrative, and sacrificing it is not an option. Good, then we have a deal. In any case, when you're ready, meet me at my ship. It's the Jade Swan. And make sure you're prepared for the long haul. Once you're on board SY920, you can't come and go as you please. I'd like to, but I need to keep a low profile. In my experience, the more people know about you, the more they have over you. Exactly. You make yourself vulnerable. You become prey. Emotionally, physically, it doesn't matter. Delgado may think otherwise, but I found in this business, fortune favors the cautious, not the bold. Anyways, I appreciate the small talk. Delgado's crew aren't usually so chatty. But let's keep our focus on the mission. We can swap bar stories and share scars when we've got enough creds to buy the bar and fix the scars. Enough to be on a first name basis with the marines working the comps. It also helps they want us to dock. The cargo ship means supplies, special requests, slates from home. In the void of space, a cargo hauler is a soldier's best friend. Only what I've been told. Get you on the SY920, get you out if I can. That being said, I can be a better guide if I know what it is we're after. So it's up to you. Fine by me. If this goes bad, the less I know, the better. And if I do get caught, there'll be nothing to confess to. We'll talk more on the ship.
Okay. Hello. Howdy. Excuse me. All right. A few things to note. When we get to the checkpoint, UC military will be hailing us. Let me do the talking. Pretend you're a piece of cargo if you have to. That will serve you well here. Some people mistake silence for weakness or, at worst, compliance. But to me, it's the loud ones who leave themselves vulnerable. Now, like I said before, once we take off, there's no turning back until this job is done. If you need to take care of anything before we leave, do it. If you want to ask me any other questions, go for it. All right, then get comfortable. We leave for SY920 immediately. All crew prepare for takeoff. Routing power to engine and grab drive. All systems go. from here. Don't worry about your personal ship, the fleet will make sure it's secure. You can take this time to prepare, just try not to bother my pilot while they're flying. Don't worry, Captain. I've spent half my life walking and chewing gum at the same time. I can handle a little banter. Sounds like you're putting in a request for double duty. Captain, I retract my earlier statement. For the record, I don't even like gum. <laughs> Noted. Just get us there safe. Roger that. You've entered secure UC military space. Identify yourself or you will be considered hostile. Class ship ID UC-7938, requesting permission to dock. Identity confirmed. Prepare your ship for scanning. You're cleared to dock in docking bay 2. Looks like we're clear. We'll talk more once we're docked. We're in. First things first. The station is enormous, with checkpoints everywhere. To get past them, you'll need a military uniform. And to get a uniform, you'll need to get to the barracks. There should be a way through the vents. You can get to them via the maintenance door downstairs. 
There's an intercom there as well, where we can make contact. Once you get a uniform, it should be fairly easy to find an elevator to the command bay. But, if at any point your cover's blown, I'm gone. Provided you haven't sounded the alarm, then yeah, like I said, if you can find an intercom, I'll keep a channel open. This is a star station, so there are plenty of ventilation ducts you can slither into. As far as tactics go, it's an oldie, but goodie. I would hope not. But if they do, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Either way, for now, get on that station and find that intercom. We'll talk more then. Yes? What? Smart. 